Hello viewers, today we're going to be changing some hardware in this Dell Latitude E6400 computer. We're going to update the memory from 4 gigabytes to 8 gigabytes. This is SY Hynix memory, which is supposed to be a good brand. And this two 4 gigabyte sticks, that's the theoretical maximum this board is intended to handle. And then providing this drive is in the working order, I'm not sure if it is or not. If it's not, I'll just get a different one. Uh, we'll put this solid state hard drive in there. This is a 256 gigabytes. And that will be updating from the 80 gigabyte rotating hard drive that's currently within this machine. So I believe the hard drive is going to be in this area over here. So we probably have to remove these two screws and then we should be able to get access to the drive. Okay, so here's the drive. It was the Seagate or the Ocean Fence Momentous 5400 RPM 80 gigabyte drive. I never particularly liked these Seagate things, they always seem to quit. I found the Western Digitan ones were a lot more reliable. So um, this will go like that. So I'll just take that out of there. So this one there's a little tab on this side that goes into one hole and then it screws in on the other side. And it's gotta be pretty much flat, you know, it can't be crooked like that or anything, it's gotta be flat. Okay. And, uh, let's see here, let's get these screws out of here. We're going to get the memory out of here, too. I believe that's going to require undoing this screw. And maybe the battery has to come out. And there's the, uh... The window code under here, which I don't want anybody to steal. Okay, so now I believe. Oops, I believe this should come off. I think it's it's. I think it comes this way. There we go, and then it lifts off. Okay, so here's the memory. Oh, this is the wrong memory. This is, um, what kind of memory is this? This is an older format. Let me see if I have any sticks that are like that. I'm a hair agitated right now because I have two boxes of computer memory and the other box is bigger and I can't seem to find it anymore. So let's see if we have anything in here. That's not the right size. That's not RAM. That's the right size, but it's only a gigabyte, so that would be a downgrade. Oh, those are more uh, pointing sticks that shouldn't be in there. That's the same, that's the wrong kind. Okay, so there's none in the packages. Take a look in the lunch bag and see if there's any in there. It's a lot of memory in here. Probably should store it differently, but whatever. It's all obsolete anyways. Or, obsolete by the world standards, not really obsolete by practicality standards. Well, 
I know I had some. I'm pretty sure I had an 8 gigabyte stick of that kind. Ah, where did it go? It must be in the other bag. It's not in here. Well, that stinks. Okay, so we're not going to be able to upgrade the memory in this video, but this is how you do it. If this is where it's located. Take these two tabs, pull them apart, stick comes out, put the new stick in, push it back all the way and then push it down. Okay. That's four in there. I think four is adequate if you're running this SD, which is going to be. So, I'm not worried about it. It'll be fine for my use case. Okay, so since that was a fail, we'll just put the cover back on. Actually, while we're in here, I'm going to clean out the, uh, the fan radiator. It's very important to keep the dust out of these things, otherwise it'll run hot. Okay, that wasn't too dirty. Alright, let's put this back on now. Okay, in the hard drive, slips in there, you can see the SATA ports should align up with this, it looks like they're going to, and that fit in there way too easily, so I think, I think it's not quite aligned correctly. There it goes. That time I felt it sit in place. So now the drive is installed correctly. Now put these two screws back, and that will conclude the uh, hardware upgrades on this thing.